Now I want to talk um, about and to a YouTube personality called Oily Cassandra. Um, I found Oily Cassandra searching on the word peak oil and uh, she has an amazing marketing idea where she takes um, she has a split screen, uh, she's on the left speaking for four minutes about peak oil and she just nails it. And on the right she's got um, these, uh, these dancers, a, a female dancer, erotic dancer. And it just draws, it just draws you know, people's attention. She also used a slang um, female anatomy term. And so she's got 30,000 hits in three months. So she's way ahead of me in viewership. Um, and the thing, the thing that she does, is, or she says, is that you know, if you're new to peak oil, which we know 99% of people, well, you Americans for sure are asleep, is that you will be in shock and denial because she, I mean, she hits the, the note that I'm on. She's saying, you know, well, um, you know, four billion people starving to death, and uh, so you, you'll either be in shock or denial right when you start. And um, what she also does is she said even people, there's three groups of people, there's people that don't know about peak oil that are now that are learning about peak oil and they're in shock or denial and then there's people that actually write or speak about it and uh, even they um, are uh, her quote was um, they drive turbo SUVs they go to big box stores they buy eight ounce um, water plastic water bottles um, they they go to um, meat or beef barbecues and they uh, eat on plastic plates and the reality is I still do that. Um, I am guilty of that um, that categorization, and I want to talk about how I came, or how I've gone through a progression, so I feel I feel okay about myself doing, you know, doing that conspicuous consumption. So I've gone from one to seven over the last um, last seven years. And in 2001, I read a book called Hubert's Peak um, about M. King Hubert and the peak of oil in the U.S. And um, it's written by DeFries. It's a 200-page book. I think I don't know if I pronounced it right, but it's a 200-page book, and it just sets it down that we've peaked in U.S. production of oil in the 70s, and now we're going to have a, this person is a um, understudy of M. King Hubert, and now we're predicting world peak. And uh, as a person that went through the Arab oil embargo in the 70s, you know, this it gets dicey. People get pretty hot under the collar when they're competing at gas stations. And that, that was just a four month blip. So, um, so back to, back to the pr progression I went through from, from 2001 on, I was shocked. I had, was asleep. I thought we had hundreds of years of oil. And I, I left that in, when I was 23 and I didn't come back to it until I was 41. So I, I searched Google. I wanted to find confirmation and I did. So then I, I, I'm an entrepreneur, so I tried to think of any product I could produce, and I was focusing on electric bikes or um, recumbents, or I, I even thought maybe I'll go work at a nuclear power plant. Any, anything that could solve this problem. I couldn't find anything, and then I felt guilty about my consumption, you know, my gas consumption, my electricity, my natural gas. I, I felt guilty. I, I, I knew that I was causing a shortage for my grandchildren, and then I had fear for my kids and my grandchildren, and, and you'll see that throughout my videos is that I really do want my kids and my grandkids not to have not to have the life that oily Cassandra and I see in which billions of people starve. I really did go through a severe depression. I um I, I I'm not this was not fun because I, I saw I, I feel like you know like a Cassandra it's like not good news what's coming up. And I got angry at people that you know they were just flying off to Europe and they, they had no concept of, the, of what they were doing in the consumption. And then finally I, I realized there's, not, there's nothing I can do. It's the supply and demand curve in charge. It's the power of that oil. And um, you know, until the, pr the only thing that adjusts demand is price, and it is a finite resource, so it, it's inevitable. But what I, what I want to talk about is this area this area and this area are really hot topics. The, um, there's a anger by SUV or by Prius people against SUV. There's an anger of Americans against Middle East. Um, there, the, the, the overall state of the world, when we get into this real difficult time, 
will be fighting. Just just at the gas stations back in the 70s there was fighting. Um, and that was just the tip of the iceberg. So what I, what I want to do is I'm saying I, I had the guilt of my turbo SUV. I actually have an 8 mile a gallon RV, which is <laughs> I really feel guilty about. Um, but I think what we all have to do, this is just me, you know, doing my, I'm on my soapbox, is just, you know, get to a point where we accept it, and then hopefully we can bring people through the progression and get to a point where we're, we're working as a unit, um, you know, not, not fighting country to country, person to person. And um, so what I've done in, in, to accept it is I've realized that all I can do is work on um, my kids, work for my kids, teaching them mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, chemistry, business, economics, and then draw an ever-largening circle outward, friends, cousins, YouTube uh, people, and I'll do this. I'll do this as long as I, as long as I'm alive, because we know we know what's going to happen, and um, this is it. I can I can make I believe I can make life better for teenagers. They're aware of why it's happening at the fundamental level. You know, they're not arbitrarily blaming Arabs, um, and. So that's it. That's my mission in life. This is where I'm going. And I really, really was impressed at your marketing creativity and your pitch. You really nailed it. And I recommend anyone on my channel go check this out. She needs, you know, the, she needs the reinforcement. She does, she does have a bunch of people that did search on um, female sex uh, uh, anatomy terms. So she needs, a, she needs a solid audience of serious... Um, oil people to reinforce her, I think. Um, that's it. I thank you for your work, and I will now talk to the Chris Can Show. Bye.